How you doing in the rain, Dwayne? Not too bad. That rhymes. We're gonna call this video Dwayne in the rain. Really? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, hello everybody. It's been a while since I've been able to do a video. It's been frozen solid here. Um, we went down to Texas for the Charles Garrett Memorial Hunt of 2019. It was number three. Well put on event. Awesome, awesome event. Hands down, if, if they do it again next year and you have an opportunity, you gotta go. They gave away 55 machines this year, gold coins, Silver, I, rally, it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I'm actually out in the field behind our home. Um, Joss is out on one of her shopping trips with Sue and I wanted to get out and dig for a little bit. So I've um, been out here and it has just been awful. I, I honestly, I haven't filmed anything until just now. Um, it's, it's been trash and trash and trash. Uh, I'm looking for I'm trying to locate the home sites and I may have an indication it's possible there's a lot of iron right here there's a lot of trash right here so I'm picking through and awesome target and then right next to it a second awesome target so let's take a quick look I'm out running the AT Pro today I am running in Pro Zero my iron disc is at 35 and I am running the 5x8 small coil because I'm in a real trashy area and I just I dug this right here I threw it down here just so I could show you but I dug this right here it's a uh, sterling silver spoon handle it is marked sterling so it's absolutely it's real fancy really nice and then <laughs> jokingly in my head I said wouldn't it be cool to find the bowl really close by well here's that and right over here, and still in the clump, I got the bowl. So, let's take a peek, double check it, make it sure I'm positive it is. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. That is, or was, <laughs> the bowl. It's sterling silver. This whole thing is sterling silver. This is awesome. It's heavy. It's really heavy. I'll have to throw it on the scale after I clean all the dirt out of it and see how heavy it really is. I'm gonna imagine at least at least a half ounce of sterling. It's cool. I'm gonna go in the treasure box. I love it. All right, I'm gonna keep at it for a little while. If I don't get enough footage today, my friend Dwayne is coming in tomorrow and we are coming back out into the field and we've got 65 acres to explore. So I don't think I'm gonna cover it all in about two hours today. So if I don't do enough today, if I don't get anything else today, I will definitely catch you tomorrow. Until next time. Let's see what we can get. I think I am on to something here because I got another old piece, which is great. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too crazy today. If I start finding a lot of really good targets, I'm gonna slow it down and, and wait till tomorrow when uh, Dwayne gets here. So but let's take a peek at this. I got a little piece of jewelry. Looks like an old uh, lady's pin. Nice and fancy on the front. See the attachment on the back. It's a cool little piece of costume jewelry. It's got some age, so now if I'm finding uh, flatware and ladies' jewelry out here in this farm field, I got to be on something. So let's uh, let's go for a little bit more and see what we can find. All right, got another cool target. So I ventured my way back over towards the barns. Um, I'm still out in the field. Uh, I had a solid 78, 80, 78, 80, 78, 80, um, and Let's check it out. It's cool. I already know what it is. How many of you folks know what it is before I wipe it off? It is a neckerchief slide. And it is going to be a Cub Scout. 
because it doesn't have the fleur-de-lis in the center it's got a big diamond and that is either a wolf or a bear in the center so this is a Cub Scout one um, I'll have to get it cleaned up it's uh, it's mushed pretty good but that's pretty cool I like that wolf or bear grr cool well, I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully there's something else good, but I'm working my way back towards the house. So, uh, might be calling it quits for the day, but, uh, eh, we'll be back out again tomorrow. Well, I had to call it quits for the day. The kids are coming home. Joss is still out. I gotta make dinner and get stuff going here. Um, but let's go over some of the stuff I pulled out of there. I really think I'm on one of the home sites, and then if I do my measurements, I can find the second one. It's supposed to be just a little bit further down from it, so, um, if I find anything really cool tomorrow, I will do a whole video. If we don't find Jack Squat, <laughs> it's going to be at the end of this video because, well, you know, bonus footage. <laughs> so, um, but let's go over what I got real quick and show you some of the delectable trash coming out of here. These things are driving me absolutely nuts. These little aluminum bolt heads or rivet heads or whatever oh they're everywhere and they sound so good window hardware so we know there was a house nearby lots of wire wire galore out in that field aluminum melted lead just all kinds of trash the field is just full of it big horseshoe I mean it's not even the big chunks of iron I did get into a little bit of a fire pit and there was a lot of square nails in the, in, the, in the burn pit, so I'm going to have to go back to that area. That was actually close to where I found the sterling silver spoon. Um, did get a memorial, no big deal. whoop de stinking do. Um, got the little pin, sterling silver spoon handle and spoon bowl, little buckyball. Did film, didn't film a couple of these items, um, just because they didn't sound all the greatest, but button. And a valve handle and the top of a valve stem. It's a valve stem cover for a Model T Ford. And Cub Scout neckerchief slide. So that's pretty cool. Not a bad little afternoon. All right in my backyard, basically, for all intensive purposes. So, alright. Well, we'll be back at it tomorrow, and hopefully we find some more goodies, and we'll catch you on the other end. So, I'm out with my buddy Dwayne today. Say hi, Dwayne. How you doing? How you doing? Right. He's about to hate my guts. I haven't filmed a thing all day. I got musket ball, little bucky ball, piece of spoon. We've been all over this field. Zilch. It's been pretty awful. Yeah, but, got something cool! Let's go take a look. Running the AT Pro again today. Run it Pro Zero, iron disc at 35. And we got a green disc. I haven't even wiped it off yet, so I don't even know what it is. It's a copper though, that's for sure. I'm thinking it's gonna be a large scent. It's pretty thick, it's got some meat to it. Let's do something that's really going to piss everybody off. Watch this. Right on my pants. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, my God. It's the end of the world. He rubbed his coin on his pants. Ah! It's a largey. I can see it says one cent. It's there. Sweet. That is the first copper out of this field. I know there's more. I know there's more. And we are really, really close to the section of the field where I was pulling all the home site stuff yesterday so right off of the barns and out here so I told him we need to come back this way so we're gonna work our way over and uh, see if we can find some more of these you wanna find some of these hell yeah let's find some of these right. how you doing in the rain Dwayne not too bad that rhymes we're gonna call this video Dwayne in the rain <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> 
All right, it's been a while since I got that copper and we are putting holes all over the place. We're getting these little aluminum like rivet heads and they sound like silver dimes and they're at every different depth. So you gotta dig all these stupid things. Um, but I got a good signal here and uh, it's a button. But let's see, it's, it's a military button. Let's take a look. There she be. It is a great seal button. World War II, more than likely. It's a two piece. And I'm thinking that one's a World War II. So that's cool. I mean, the silver spoon yesterday was from the 30s to the 50s. You got a weedy that was what, 1940? 1940. Yep. Okay, so we got a 1940 weedy, and I got that copper earlier. It's a large scent. Um, so. We're going to get off to it and try to find a few more things uh, on the wrap up. I got a couple other things I didn't film. I'll show you some lead and some brass and some treasure and I'll show you those little stupid silver dime signals that are not silver dimes and they drive me up a wall. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick wrap up. It wasn't extremely eventful today. Uh, we did have a good time. It was good hanging out with Dwayne. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Probably like, I don't know, maybe a year. It's been a long while. Too long, Dwayne. Don't be a stranger. Um, I think he wound up getting a weedy and a couple other little odds and ends. Nothing mind-blowing. Nothing mind-blowing on my end either, but plenty of trash. And these little aluminum dealies, man, oh, these things are driving me up a wall. They sound just like silver dimes. They sound so beautiful, but alas, lots of bullets, lots of modern bullets. This thing sounded great too, this John Deere tag. But that's all the all the junk that came out today. And a few goodies. I did not film the spoon or the musket balls. Um, that was early on when I wasn't expecting much. This, oddly enough, this memorial was like three inches from where I dug the largey. <laughs> and right on the surface too. Um, and a nice little great seal button. So I'm happy with that. And I am very happy with my large scent, even though it's toasted. It's all right. I don't think I'm going to get a date off of her, but oh well, no big deal. So, remember guys, have a good time. Get out, enjoy your friends, enjoy nature, and enjoy the history that you can find while you're out there detecting. And just get out, have a good time, and find your treasure. Catch you on the next one. Later. Sit, Julie. Sit. Good job, baby.